Hey, I'm Birdie Lee, and this is Tasha Leanne, and we are here today at Alberta Abbey for the Dookie Jam. And you're watching Cross the Street. Come on, follow us. How often does this happen? <laughs> you bring your car out. What do you think they're saying? Hey man, I think your car is pretty cool, boy. That's pretty nice. And what does he wow, say? Wow, those colors. <coughs> those colors are awesome, man. Mine's just plain right now, but I'm gonna get something soon. It's custom. I was about to ask, oh how many how many times does that happen to you a day? Usually when you pull that car out, it's uh, about every 10 blocks. <laughs> We're here tonight at the Dookie Jam. Um, first time for you? First time at the Dookie Jam. First time at the Dookie Jam. Me as well. First time at the Dookie Jam for me as well. Birdie? Me too. <laughs> we're ready to jam at the, at the Dookie Jam. We're gonna get we're gonna get Birdie to say Dookie by the end of the night. <laughs> Dookie Jam on three. One, two, three, Dookie, Dookie jam. jam! And we out. Oh my gosh, JP! I we've been waiting to meet you. Really? Yes. Your okay. name actually already came up once. Okay. Uh, we're here covering the night at the Dookie Jam, and it's resurgence, it sounds like. Uh, we're good friends with Mr. Ozier. Okay. Um, why don't you give us a little backstory on how this all kicked off? Well, I'll be honest with you. I met Tony probably close to almost 20 years ago. <laughs> and we did the first original Dookie Jam, which is at Calabash. It was a nightclub in downtown Portland, no bigger than our bar in there probably could fit 50 people on a good night. We always got about 100 in there. And um, we just have been good friends. I work with the Jack London, the Rosen Theater. I've been doing this for a while. And uh, literally, I've been wanting to connect with him and find a venue that we could actually redo the Dookie Jam, kind of uh, just relaunch it, you know, tighten it up, just really make it something even bigger and better than it was when we started. And this is the perfect community venue to do that. And so, Tony that's what's had going mentioned. On. Tony had mentioned the intimate settings uh, of the Dookie Jam of old. Yeah. The new space being a little more open uh, for being a first-time user of uh, Birdie and myself, uh, it feels great. Well, it feels great. I tell you, this is a hundred-year-old church. Its significance to the black community through what's been going on the last few years too. Just, it's the place. It's it's, it's the heart. It's going to be the hub. Uh, the living room of this community again. If you study what's going on in our, our society right now, we need places like this, right? Definitely. To come together, everybody. My nonprofit is Elevate Unity. We're sponsoring this event tonight and soundstage events. I've been putting in the work for a while, you guys. So is Tony and all the musicians, and that's what I'm trying to support. We saw the smiles on two of the students' uh, faces Isn't that crazy? in particular that were amazing, amazing. And that's, that's really what we've been trying to do and find a place that we can really support our young musicians to pass the torch. I know Tony's doing the work in the schools, but you know what? It's one thing to have a, a, an auditorium concert, and it's another thing to be on a national stage where performers that are unbelievable come and to have kids be on that stage and see their smile, that's what it's all about, man. The we're smiles passing the were impressive. It is, the man. Were and this is just the beginning. This is the first one. We got three more, the next three last Thursdays, and then we got some surprises coming for you. I'll just come put it like that. Ooh, can't wait. Well, yeah. Supernatural, I don't know. Whew, I mean, <laughs> Supernatural, we just saw him come off the stage. Oh, my goodness. Listen, <laughs> we've got some national artists coming here. Tony and Dennis, are. they promised me that they have something up their sleeve. So the next last Thursday, which is in uh, July, right? I wouldn't miss it if I were you guys. I just okay. put it like that. Ticket well, Tomato, that's where, I mean, excuse me, albertaabbey.com, Ticket Tomato, that's where you can find all the information. And, of course, Elevate Unity. We will add that link in the description below for all of our viewers out there. Yeah. Um, extremely excited and privileged. Uh, and we're glad uh, to have you guys yeah, here. Yeah, we're excited awesome. to be here. Getting yeah, the yeah. word out because we need to get the word out. You guys saw what's going on. This is a special venue. The sound, just everything about this is uh, screams community and unity. 
and we need to really support what's going on. Yes, and I love that they're like engaging with the crowd and like feeling the crowd's energy back and literally it like fills the whole entire place. It doesn't matter where you're sitting, you can feel it in your soul and you it can. brings me so much joy and I just love dancing. I so. saw you up there dancing, I thought you were singing. I said, like, oh, she brought her own mic. She's like, she's like I'm, right there. I'm part of the Dookie Gym, but I got my own mic. I sing when I want to sing. <laughs> And I, I love that kind of just inspiration. Yeah. And if people feel this, and it really, uh, the Dookie Jam has been doing amazing things, but this is going to be the best Dookie Jam iteration ever. Yeah. I can it promise looks great. You so many people sharing their passions together simultaneously. Yeah. Uh, just so happens that and it's Bernie, all ages. All ages. Come on, man. Just so happens that Bernie and I love Portland. We love the Portland music scene. Yeah. So it's a great fit for us as well. So we're, yeah. again, proud to be a part, proud to help. But we're and, uh, proud that you guys are here, man, and spreading the word because that's. That's how it gets uh, built. It's a pleasure it to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. You too, brother. Yeah, we'll be seeing you soon. You guys are always welcome. You know that. Yes. You family now. Let's go. All right yes. over to Abby Elevate Unity. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> Cheers. Ionic arm for this one. Yay. <laughs> right. uh, Bernie Lee, Bernie Lee. Wow. Uh, we're having an amazing time, Mr. Ozier, number one. Number two, we just spoke to JP. Yes. Um, he is extremely excited, not only about tonight's event, but it looks like the future of the Dookie Jam. Yeah. My guy was excited. My guy was excited. He's yeah. pumped. So. Me, man, JP has been around since the Calabash days. Part of the Calabash, uh, part of that whole scene was the smell of the food, mm. cooking. So when you have, and we know music and food go together. Right. So when you got good food and you got good music, Nothing those are all, wrong. that's the recipe <laughs> for a good time right there. Yes. It is. So, man, I appreciate it. Since JP's been here, man, it's been, he's been trying to get us in here and he got us in here. We're here every last Thursday yes. for the summer. So I'm excited about the Abbey. I, 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 this is my first time actually playing a show here myself. But I've been here a couple of different times and seen a couple of shows here. The sound is great. Mm -hmm. uh, the sound guy is working extremely hard. Yes, he's working back there. I, hear <laughs> he is, it. I watched yeah. him work he is for a while. Yeah. My guy's putting in the work. Yes, the he place is. does smell amazing. <laughs> he said it smells amazing. <laughs> we got to see some of those smiling faces that uh, that we kind of chopped it up shortly about the, yeah. the kids you're calling on stage and having yeah. them play. This is going to be something they're never going to forget. Man, well, you know, that's why. You know, that's the whole purpose of doing it. It started early, like, people don't understand, like, Charlie Brown and Domo and all of those guys, they were just like these guys coming to the Dookie Jam and jamming with us as youngsters, as teenagers in high school, and now we see what they're doing now. Tope, so, wow. former yeah. Dookie Jam participant? Yeah, Tope yeah. for sure, man. Tope is my guy, man. <laughs> Love Tope. OG1's here tonight working OG1, on the wheels? Yeah, OG1 is on the wheels of steels. Uh, the Portland, this is... Every Dookie Jam is always going to be sponsored by the Portland Black Music Expo. The Portland Black Music Expo is a, is a partnership between OG1 and myself, and so this is all a part of it. And, and then, then guess you got what? The and then guess oh, no, what? No, 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 no. I was about oh to say, God. guess what? Uh, no, this is, you got the legendary MC Supernatural. This is the best $15 I've spent <laughs> in a long time, my friend. This is the best $15 I've oh, spent in a long time. So, he does a show called Cross the Street. So we feature it's, Portland it's, it's people in its places, Portland and we make them artists. look more awesome than they yeah. already are. That's and right. So. Mr. ozier has been on our show a couple times now. Yeah. Uh, we've sat down with him and got his... Uh, incredible guy right here. Fantastic. He's an all-around good person, man, for real. Yeah. And then we roll in here tonight. And uh, and this is their first Dookie Jam, so... That's right. Yeah. And by surprise, who do we run into but yeah. a supernatural Super Duke. Oh, yeah, my Yeah, I goodness. popped through for my brother. I told him I'd pull up tonight. So amazing. Yeah. And I was like, you're just flowing with the flow, right? You're yeah, just I just came out to the audience. I was singing that in my seat when they started playing that, and I just... You just knew yeah, it. Yeah, me and him looked, and he's like, come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I love that, because I was like, dang, he's rapping about everything that's happening around him. Like, it could be anything he's feeling to what he's seeing. Like, it's amazing. It me and him got a... When you play like he plays, we can read each other. That's, that's really yeah, what real fun. musicianship should be about, is just reading the vibe, reading the crowd, and transforming that energy into something that everybody can absorb, you know? Yeah. Make it palatable for the people. That's what I've always done. And being with this cat is easy to do. <laughs> the energy of the live wow. music, too, the improv live music, uh, does that add, to add something oh, creative? Oh, adds extra? a heightened excitement to it. For me, like I said, I was already singing that hook sitting in the seat. And Jay Rock, <laughs> no, as soon as y'all started playing, I swear, I said, I don't stop, I don't quit. Do, 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 do. Yeah. And Jay Ross heard me, and she started tapping me, and yeah, I was still like, sitting there, and she tapped me again, and then he looked. Yep. And once he locked eyes, he was like, come on. 
I ain't even had to say nothing. So that's yeah. the magic of it. Like, improv is the best, man. That's, that's how I you look for. sharp up there, too. Nice fit tonight. Yes, okay. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Okay. Okay. This is yeah. all on the top. <laughs> yeah, I'm always on my Afro flyness. That's, that's what I call it. I have a line called Afro Fly, and Fly stands for first love yourself. Stay fly oh, forever. All right. I love that. All right. Yeah. Uh, anything that we can look forward to you out of the near future? I'm working on a documentary right now on the history of freestyle and kind of like my contribution to hip hop and how I took freestyle and made it into my thing and then it kind of became a, a bigger thing even after I did it. And you know, just working on my new album. I'm producing crazy right now, more beats than I've ever produced in my life. Um, painting. I'm just all around artist, man. I really enjoy the art. I've always, everything that I did as a child, I just took it into manhood and, and made, it, made it professional and fun. Yeah, <laughs> that, that's basically what it is for me. It bleeds, it bleeds, my friend. It Thank bleeds. you, brother. Yeah. Creativity. Yeah, and where can we find you? You can find me on Instagram at MC Supernatural. You can find me on Facebook at MC Supernatural. And, you, and then I'm on my website, mcsupernatural.com. Yeah. We'll do okay. that once again. We'll add those links down below in the description for everybody to check out. You yeah. check out my man Supernatural here. So, extreme MC. Thank you. Uh, great time tonight. Thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Yes. Thank you. Cheers, friend. I, I loved it. That was amazing. Cheers. Ooh. Hey, girl. What is the weather today? Fucking cold. <laughs> Dang. Again, for the 99th time. <laughs> I bet you. He's asking about the car, right? He's asking about the car, and let me guess all the questions that we asked earlier. If you want to know what they're talking about, here it is. 24 years. That's two. That's two. Two of the questions I asked. Bertie Lee, Bertie oh, yeah, Lee, Bertie Lee. How exciting is that? Here's yes. the Dookie Jam. Uh, Totally stopped, vibed out for a moment. Once a night, as a film producer, I take a moment to just shut it off and enjoy myself. Yes, indeed. And your name, sir? Is Beatzilla. I'm uh, one of the members of the Do The Funk All Stars. Uh, we've been, we actually founded this jam session back in 2009, June 2009, a matter of fact. Uh, so this is another anniversary month. Uh, also Black Music Month, so we also, <laughs> Clearly the musicians yes. of the funk era, so uh, representing as we always do. Quite a set of pipes on you there, sir. Thank you, sir. Very appreciate impressive. It. Very stop me in my tracks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Yes. We we uh we you know we are a multi-talented band. We're all musicians. Uh, a lot of us play multiple instruments, and majority of us also sing as well as play. So Tell us something positive that's come from the Dookie Jam and your experience with the Dookie Jam. Uh, you know, it would be all of the professional musicians that we actually were able to inspire uh, and take kind of take under our wing um, and kind of bring to the forefront of what, what we do here in Portland as uh, live music and live musicians. Awesome. We had a great time tonight. Super Thank fun. You. Really Thank appreciate you. you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yes, what's your name? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, I'm Jim, and this is Bertie Lee. Yes. Jim and yeah. Bertie Lee. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Great. Oh. Bertie Lee, Bertie Lee. Here. Here at the Dookie Jam. Um, first time here for you, Charlie? It is. It yes, is. my first How time. was your experience? I actually loved it. Uh, I, I'm a big fan of percussion, and there were a ton of really good percussion artists the in there. dual the drummers too yeah, isn't that I awesome love that. yeah <laughs> yeah that's yeah. yeah. about as good as no, there were Definitely there better. were at least four or five drummers that i thought really could play well yeah. so and, and i love the format i love the fact that uh, you're letting these young people play and it's it's just really cool yes. it's very cool yeah it's a good opportunity so are you a musician yeah. at heart uh i'm a musician at heart i'm not a musician i I love music, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, you like look to great. dance? Thank you. Yeah. What? Do you like to dance? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be cool if we could get some dancers up there? Maybe next time? Sure. Dancers, sure. Yeah. That'd Would be you great. come and dance? Ah, uh, well, if you ask me nicely. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll see you next <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Is it going to be just oh, yeah. time? Everybody do, 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 do. Birdie Lee, Birdie Lee, what is good? What is good? Yeah. What do do? What do do? We uh, doing, had a good time here tonight at the Dookie Jam number one. You were one of the performers uh, on stage there for a while. Let's tell us who you are and a little bit about yourself. That's correct. What's good, y'all? Thank you for being here. Thank y'all for being here. It's all for a reason. Uh, my name is Pragmatic. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. 
Georgia West Side Zone, folks. Why, right, baby? I'm glad to be out here. Um, just by one of the grace of God, but then just mentorship, building relationships over time, and the pathways led me here by faith. By faith. What uh, brought you to the Dookie Jam? Ah, J. Ross Pirelli starts with J. Ross Pirelli. Met her 11 years ago. Mentor just encouraged me in music and art. Came out here, been working as a teaching artist in California, building relationships. Was able to come out here for Thrive, it was a conference. I worked with indigenous youth and just like just young folks in with uh, over at PSU. We've been creating music out here, music videos, shot a music video today to edit it. Students should go on with songs, like hearing themselves, creating, building outlets in their own capacity to understand their identity and be affirmed in like their own identity. So that's dope. One of our favorite parts of today was that watching some of the younger kids come up on stage and participate with everybody. The smiles on their faces as they exited was, you know, they're never going to forget this moment. 110%. What about you? What's good? Hi. <laughs> what was your favorite part, Bernie? What was your favorite part today? My favorite part is, like, how they just jumped on stage. Like, when you started feeling the beat, like, what kind of gave you the courage to just jump up? Like, did you just know it was your time? Or did you guys, like, like, you just, like, get it and then go? That's been a compounded thing over years because I remember there'd be times where I feel hesitant, but I feel this warmth. And when I feel that warmth, I got to respect that. I feel that's the Holy Spirit directing me to say, that's your talent, that's your gift. You got to do it, got to use it. And doing that is, one, liberating for me, myself, and I know it makes a difference for other folks as well because I've been inspired by other folks, and they said, I just went up and did it. And I'm like, I'm going to do it too. And if you see a friend, you see a pot of them get up there, you're like, I'm going to get up there too. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. Well, they say birds of a feather, feather flock together. Uh, some more talent out here on the street corner with us as well. Slide on over, slide on over. We are uh, playing the bass tonight, and he was emceeing a little bit there too. I didn't play no instruments. My name is Raza, Real Raza Music. Uh, here in Portland, teaching youth how to make beats, write lyrics, um, shoot music videos, super dope. I hopped on, did some bars, real simple stuff. Um, here with some OGs, some dope-ass people, dope-ass producers, artists out of Sacramento. Super dope to be here in Portland. That's, a, that's so amazing. I love this show. What is one thing that you learned about the Dookie Jam? Um... You better be on. You better be on your A game, and it's really like on the spot, like totally. Supernatural was here tonight. Yeah, yeah MC crazy. Supernatural. Yeah, yeah. I mean, icon, legendary, legendary. You shared a stage tonight with Supernatural. Yeah, put that one on the checklist. Yeah, that's it's pretty <laughs> iconic. <laughs> check, check. Well, we appreciate everybody coming out here to the Dookie Jam tonight. We had a fantastic time here at Team Cross the Street. Um, until we see y'all again, when we bring it in, do a Dookie Jam Come on, on three. Uh, the mic two. Yo. One, two, three. Dookie, Dookie Jam. Jam. Oh, Bernie bro. Lee, Bernie Hi. Lee, Bernie Lee. Hey. Um, I'm taking you in here too. Yeah, I like we had more the merrier, okay. more the merrier. Wow. Every now and then we get lucky to run into the performers, which we've had a great luck at tonight. And we saw you on stage earlier oh, tonight. Oh goodness. Really versatile, quite the MC, quite the singer, quite the dancer. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Definitely don't dance. I believe that if you want to leave, the heaven will fall and it would always be now. The one thing I saw is to put me to sleep. Turn up the present of your touch on my cheek. Man, would you come around? You make my body weak. I'm speechless. I can't speak. Let's get birth of name and pour it out. Let the inhalation be eat. Like an apple, we be real. Got to do this natural habitat. Imagine that you would be the aftermath. You're gonna eat it. Now it's late. Holding hands in the brain. Uh, first of all, who are you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> I'm Jay Ross Pirelli, and I'm the mother of this amazing child, Cleo, who was on stage playing some percussion. Wow. Oh, you was up there too? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Tell us about what was your favorite part about tonight? What was your favorite part? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's exactly what I... Was it being I... on stage? Was it watching anybody special? Mm. Watching yeah. Supernatural. Yeah. MC Supernatural is one of our favorites. The whole thing was true. The whole thing. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Where do you get your inspiration from? You seem so well versed and well talented. Where do you get your inspiration from? Well, I was trained by this guy, MC Supernatural. Oh, wow. He trained me to freestyle because I couldn't memorize my lyrics. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> genius. <laughs> um, I've been traveling the world ever since. Started a nonprofit, Beats Lyrics Leaders, which is, um, <laughs> yeah, we teach youth how to, how to, 
how to have like coping skills and stuff. Yeah. When did you start? When did you start? When did you start, buddy? When did you start? Two years ago. Okay. Two years. <laughs> and what have you learned from all this? I don't know. You don't know? What'd you learn? How it's to cool play to be on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. How to engage. Yeah. Dance. Yeah. That was one of our favorite Groove. parts of tonight yeah. was seeing the kids come off the stage and then the, they were so excited and happy. And, Amazing. Yeah. And that's why we do it, right? Yeah. Like that's that's the whole purpose is to watch oh these kids God. inspire. So. So are you coming next Thursday? When's your next show? Where uh, can we find you? I live in California. We're on tour right now. <laughs> I know. So we we I just got back from Tampa. We're here. We go to Hollywood and then Vegas and then we perform at Disney World. <gasps> yeah. Wow! That's so cool. So yeah, we're just we're on our way. We're just hanging out. Well, <laughs> we know who the most important person, popular person of tonight's show is, right? Can we agree that it's? Ding ding yeah. ding! <laughs> Both of you. <laughs> no, <laughs> wow! Thank you so much for your time. We really enjoyed it. Thank you, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for the interview. That See was ya. so sweet. Hey. Bye. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Birdie Lee, Birdie Lee, one of the performers what's up, what's from up? tonight. Um, how did that feel going up on stage there? And Felt like a dream. It was so good. It's been, I don't know, probably five years since I've been up on a stage like that when I was over at my um, music camp. And it felt wonderful. It felt free. And I felt alive up there. Um, I've been playing bass for about a year now, so... I have a long way to go to improve, but it was wonderful. And just being up there, little, little boy Khalil, and doing the shakers, little tambourine action was awesome. <laughs> being able to just go up there and What's sing. your name, young man? Uh, Xavier. Xavier, all right. Um, my friends call me uh, X or Xbox. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was great. It was so just a vibe it was so awesome i caught a nice i caught a nice video of you exiting the stage getting greetings from all the fans and friends yeah. uh one of my favorite moments of the night actually so thank you awesome. for supplying that thank i'm glad you. to see you had such a good time appreciate it a lot yeah but well, we look forward to seeing you back at the dookie oh. jam sometime um i will i will definitely be back with those bass skills let's go yeah. let's go <laughs> do you have any advice for someone upcoming that wants to perform and do oh. cool stuff like you guys for sure. Um, take a healthy risk. Don't don't be afraid to just go up there and jam. I feel like a year ago today, if I went up there, I don't think I could have done it. I don't think I would have had the courage to go up there and just sing away, play away. So step out of your comfort zone. Um, continue being you. Continue learning. Continue playing. Continue practicing. Continue doing all the things. And surround yourself with people that hype you up and that you love, and that love you. And that's the advice that I got. Perfect. I don't know how many interviews you've that done, was, but you're killing that it. That was great. <laughs> Everything in one. Everything in one. A 10 out of 10. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. I'm, I'm, tell, I'm, us a, I'm, tell us a little about your uh, night here at the Dookie Jam. Did you have a good Oh, my time? God. Listen. This is like day one of the fifth beginning of the Doodoo Funk. And in this dispensation of time, to see the next generation, the children, take over the doodoo funk, it's like, it's something that we've all uh, talked about and prayed and hoped for, but to live it is something different. And so this is the, like the beginning of that in the hood, in the original city of Albina, which was before the city of Portland, to see this go down at the Mallory Temple, AKA the Alberta Abbey, okay. this is Pastor Woods Church back in the day. But now we evolved into something that's bigger and better, yep, uh, for the future. And it's beautiful that you all are documenting it. Um, you are the first. So you are the Mr. and Mrs. Beast of the beginning of this phase and cover it. It's going to be on. 100%. Yes. Awesome. We had a great time here tonight at the Duke of yeah. Jam once again. Thank you so much for your participation everything you've done to make the event as way, go as well as it did. Um, nice truck. Man, thank you. <laughs> it's an honor and a privilege. Yes. Keep it up. Keep it up. Awesome. Woo! Oh my gosh. That was so amazing. <laughs>
Yeah, it was really fun. I jammed out at the Dookie Jam. Yes, and uh, I see everything shutting down now, so uh, let's get out of here. It's time to go. See you for the next one.